Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Green Wisdom Health Show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are going to <laughs> teach you a little bit today. I hope uh, if I can get Dr. Lewis on track here, he's he's veering before we get started um, about leaky gut and packing on the pounds from it, which you probably wonder what leaky gut has got to do with packing on any kind of pounds and weight loss. But um, so many of you want weight loss, and some of you don't realize it's actually coming from leaky gut or SIBO, which Dr. Lewis is going to explain a little bit about as well. So, um, Dr. Lewis, can you tell us about why you've chosen to talk to us today about the this, the bad leaky gut thing or people don't even realize they have that I'm, I'm sure uh what it is uh what SIBO is can, why can't they just lose weight maybe that's a better better way uh, the reason I chose this is because Janet told me to <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble all day um I, I think it's important for people to realize that this is a big problem you have to take massive action and you have to take it consistently and why do we have gut problems which I think that's all of us are the very, very large majority of us because of our poor diet in America, you know, full of the wrong foods and full of um, all sorts of chemicals. Uh, it, it's a problem that you have to tackle and just work toward. If you're not working toward health, disease will sneak up and grab you and devastate you in more ways than one. So I, I, I think it's very important. So. Well, maybe we can tell them a little bit about um, whether they can tell their health is already starting to suffer from a damaged digestive system. Um, you know, we've talked to you a little bit about trains running through tunnels, and and if you haven't heard that story, you know, you should be going to have a bowel movement as many times a day as you're eating a meal. So if you're not, that should be your first indicator that there could be an issue. Um, some of the other symptoms are all signs that you have unhealthy bacteria that have taken over too much real estate in your gut, and you may be suffering from what we call leaky gut. And those symptoms are gas and bloating, constipation or diarrhea, you're extremely tired, you're nauseous, and you have sugar cravings and cravings for refined carb foods. And I literally had a lady in here the other day. They've been patients forever, and um, both of them had had gastric bypass surgery at one point in their lives, and both of them had managed to put all of the weight and then some back on. And she told me her husband is up all hours of the night just eating sugar, like anything that's sweet. She said literally wakes up in the night, and he has to go eat sugar. So I would venture to say that he probably suffers from leaky gut leaky gut irritable bowel syndrome SIBO SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth uh, we have things what is the difference I mean can you tell somebody the difference between what SIBO actually is and leaky gut well they kind of overlap and I want to caution people that if you have any severe symptoms it is very very in my opinion very imperative that you get your diagnosis from a good gastroenterologist because colon cancer is a big killer. And, and folks, you need to do the medical thing. And I know people come to us because we have the so-called alternative or complementary, and we get great results with the majority of people. But I've always, you know, for the last jillion years since I've been in practice, told people, don't rule out the medical profession. They do a really, really good job. The thing about it is that, um, yes, you have it because you eat the standard American diet. And although I treat a very high percentage of people that just grow their own food and they're organic, they all say they feel better on my stuff if they do it long term. So Janet started with a list of symptoms. And, and you know, you should, first of all, go on a low FODMAP diet. And somebody says, what is FODMAP? I said, well, it's 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 one of these app things that Janet has about weight loss. You can choose different diets. And it stands for, I think, fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols, which causes gas bloating, belching. It's the fermentable carbohydrates. So Janet had a list of symptoms. Uh, if you have issues, I've got another list of symptoms, and she doesn't know this is coming. You know, if you're tired all the time, this is signs that you need uh, small intestine and large intestine help. If you have to tip the bellboy bell to help you carry the bags under your eyes, 
you probably have a small intestine colon issue. If your abdomen hangs down over your belt, the emergency room physicians have a word for that. Um, if your friends plan a surprise baby shower and you're not pregnant, if your face is bloated, if your bowel movement smells so bad you can't stand to be in the same room with yourself, if your 24-hour deodorant surrenders in 24 minutes, if your wife won't kiss you anymore because your foul breath and draining sinuses, yes, your sinuses are connected to your colon, small intestine colon. Uh, so there's no way you're going to lose weight if you're having that kind of toxins in the body. I mean, I have people say that, but I'm, I'm eating 500 calories a day, and it's like, well, your body's going to go into starvation mode and not want to get rid of of that and weight loss is I've always said weight loss is simple and then people give me the evil eye I said I didn't say it was easy half the people take our stuff and you know halfway change their diet and lose weight like crazy the other half it is hard to do it's long term and most people really don't stick with it long enough uh, well, one thing <clears throat> you mentioned the um, low FODMAP diet or low yeah. there's a diet that you can do but there's also probiotics correct that go uh, for low, uh, for low FODMAP compliancy, like our, the one we call ProBioEase, that it's actually um, it's, it combines strain-specific targeted probiotics with Sun Fiber, which is a registered trademark for this product, which is partially hydrolyzed guar gum, and it is the first fiber and first standalone ingredient to become Monash University low low FODMAP certified. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. People say, but no inulin. I've read on internet inulin. I said, well, if you've got all your good information off the internet, then why are you here? Please let me help you because inulin is a good thing later on in the program. Because but sometimes inulin it's, actually it's, messes it's, people's gut up, It's right? fermentable, okay. and, and that's the issue. So, you know, if you have any kind of gut issue, I generally will put people on ProBioEase first because it will not cause gut issues like the stuff with the inulin does. And inulin is a good thing, but later on. So you know you've got bowel issues. If you pass wind in the office and your secretary passes out, if you take off your socks and the dog leaves the room, and I can go on and on with these, so I'll get off before I get in trouble. Um yeah, there, there's a lot of things. There's so many different symptoms. There's a list. And, and once again, I tell people, don't diagnose yourself off the list because there's many, many other conditions that can have the same symptoms. So don't make a diagnosis off this. If you've got gut problems, see your GI doctor. And if that's all clear there, you really need to see us because there's other illnesses that mimic IBS, which is cancer. So that's why you need to see your MD. Uh, duodenal ulcers, diverticulitis, uh, biliary tract disease. We see all kinds of people with higher ALT and AST, some of the liver enzymes. Parasitic diseases, and people don't believe they have parasites. Well, yeah, we're exposed to them. If you don't have perfect digestion and high hydrochloric acid, they're not going to be killed or sanitized, and it's real common. That's why what we call the candida support is really good. And it has a lot of different ingredients in it, but the one I like the most is Podiarco, which is famous for killing parasites. So while you're on that and you're talking about, you know, go see your doctor, it, you know, we're, we're saying, you know, we can help you with some of this, and some of this may be something more major. Yeah. How how would someone that doesn't like going to the doctor, how would they know the difference on whether or not they got something that's super serious versus something that's something they could do in natural medicine? Is that something you can see on lab work, or or what would be a telltale sign that you better get to the the doctor and do something more than starting with natural medicine? Well, sometimes you can see it on lab work, and and that's a really good place to start. But you know, it, it can be. A lot of different things, and that's why I tell people all the time, use your dis discerning spirit. And most of us have been taught to shut that off, and they get their information from uh, the news that distorts, deletes, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I know we had a, a client at one point that um, he was coming in for some of those symptoms. He had IBS real bad, and um, he wound up... When we ran his lab, because we run 12 different panels, which... And that's a lot. Which you never really find. And one of those panels is a panel called ferritin, which is stored iron. And it would always come back 
really low and um it, we gave him iron a few times it wasn't moving and dr lewis said well, you know, made him feel better but right, it still stayed low right and dr lewis said you know something else is wrong you better go see your doctor and see why your iron won't come up and it turned out he had a tumor yeah. And it was filling up with blood. And so all the blood he was making was going into this tumor. And he goes, and my stomach's getting bigger. And it turned out that was why. And he, he wound up having cancer. So, um, yeah, what Dr. Lewis is saying, you know, if you keep letting this go, it does turn into bad things. Uh, you know, I had another guy that had that. And he said, well, I, I don't want to take iron till you, till they figure out what the problem is. I said, you're not going to put oil in your $400,000 RV until they figure out where it's leaking first, and you're going to blow an engine in the meantime. And then he understood, because he's a big motor guy that has massive amount of money, that you know he's older than me, but he's still playing like he's 16. I said, you know, plug the hole first, but you got to put oil in it before you can get the hole plugged. And sometimes it is uh, something that's, you know, the MDs are really good at diagnosing that. They have some really good diagnostic tests. Uh, so how do you tell? It's not always easy. Uh, you know, if you have to uh, abuse laxatives, you can have ulcerative colitis uh, almost but, all the time. It's but a, you've been doing that all your life, abusing laxative so how do they know the difference because we've had that we've had people yeah. go i've been doing that all my life so. well they think that's normal it's like that's not normal it's common uh imbalanced intestinal flora which is almost almost always true i think that's probably true close to 100 percent of the time and, and there's reasons for that it's the chemicals in our food it's the why do we have six times more glyphosate in our blood than a european because we spray that crap even on organic food to desiccate it uh dehydrate it uh it, it's it's crazy you know you have a lot of really severe amount of chemicals in our bodies in our air in our building materials um so you have to increase the amount of nutrients in there. And Janet asked me a while ago, says, why do I have cracked knuckles? And Janet takes half the store. She said she thought it was the soap at Bucky's. I said, well, you know, first thing you... you know, that prob- soap has lasted like a week from Bucky's. <laughs> yeah, we love Bucky's. <laughs> I, think, uh, but I thought that's where I got it. <laughs> usually it's uh, not enough omega-3s, some 6s and 9s, the anti-inflammatory ones. Hey, did you know 8 out of 10 deaths are from an inflammatory disease? It doesn't matter what you label it. It's inflammation first, at least 8 out of 10. Well, what was cool about what you said, you know, because I I knew fish oil, I knew vitamin E, and I knew primrose oil and all that stuff, which I take all that. And I thought, why is my skin still cracking but just on the knuckles and out of the blue? Because he's like a walking encyclopedia. He goes, "Uh, try try B vitamins, like like different ones. I said, oh, well, I do panathenic acid. He goes, that's one specific one. He said, I said complex. And I, and lo and behold, I start reading. I'm like, he is right. I, it is, it's about skin. Well, we're in the middle of uh, doing some stressful things. And I yeah, thought. Well, we went to take out the trash and came home with a new house. And we we just moved six months ago. So yeah, something we like had that. to unpack. So. And anyway. after that, my skin started cracking. <clears throat> it's all my fault, folks. <laughs> It's actually the first house Dr. Lewis has ever picked out himself. He's never liked a house. He's always liked the land. I don't care about the house. But he does this time. Yeah, so. this one is like, yep. So, init- so I'm like, oh, so maybe a little more stress. Oh, you know, as she stresses, I'm not sure we can get the RV under the RV spot. I said, oh, good God. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, B vitamins. <laughs> That's going to help her stress Lots and make me look more attractive to her I'm because gonna... her stress level will go down. But he's super handy. It's like, well, you can just you can just rattle something off to him and out comes something else you didn't know. And it's like, well, he does it with animals, too. Yeah, and I'm uh, a little bit of a smart aleck. Uh, most of you that have dealt with me know that. And it's like, you know. Well, one person said, and, and I love this lady. I mean, she's a doll. She said, well, I read this or I heard this on somebody else's podcast. I said, can you talk to him? She says, no. And, you know, I'm answering emails at 630 in the morning, folks. You know, how many of these podcast people can you actually communicate with? Pay attention to where you get the attention. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Also, talking about the differences between leaky gut and SIBO, um, do you know that SIBO patients or people that have it, they actually have uh, nutritional def- deficiencies, particularly in iron, 
B12, fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, and sometimes even osteoporosis. So I think it's interesting because so pe- many people go, well, I take vitamin D. And, but, and it's not working on lab because I yeah. see your lab. And, and is it because most of the time it's the quality? But you can have somebody take the same brand and it doesn't go up the same amount as somebody else's. Difference in uh, the ability to absorb that stuff. And right. most most times when they say, oh, well, my diet stuff is fortified. It's like, yeah, well, it's fortified with crap. They call it vitamins and minerals, but you can't absorb it. And then you're going to use more of my good vitamins and minerals to detoxify the stuff they say is fortified. Yeah, the fortified things were like the worst of the worst uh, yeah. minerals and vitamins. I'm like, you don't even call yeah, it, that it, stuff. If it's a, a magnesium oxide or calcium carbonate, you might as well go lick a rock in West Texas. Hey, Debbie over in Midland, uh, give me a rock. I'll come out there and lick it from a calcium. Uh, if it's cyanocobalamin, I don't care how famous that doctor is. He's selling you the cheap uh, things. You know, there, there's a lot of lies being told, and the drug industry is not any better. Yeah, you know, people say, "Well, it's not FDA." It's like, "Well, geez, FDA, yeah, they miss 120 thousand deaths a year." Anyway, I, I won't get too much into that, but and yes, it's everywhere. Th- we've had products that we've had a, a a product that we really liked, and the and the ingredient list was really great. And then we don't know what happened. They changed some of the ingredients yeah. in it, and Dr. Lewis caught it. We we moved to something different. We don't just keep selling the stuff that that's not doing anything. He really pays attention to what's in those products. We we really uh, she gives me credit that you know Brandy's just as likely to catch yeah, that. Brandy's She's absolutely a brilliant young lady. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we're working hard, and and you guys that have been with us for years, and that's a lot of you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've seen us make many, many, many changes. Sometimes, well, we have to change companies because of uh, lack of raw materials, and they back order stuff for two or three months. So, you know, thank you for your trust. And I always ask people, do you trust the brand or you trust the doctor? Trust me, I'll take care of you to the best of my ability, and I work hard. You know, I, again, I'm emailing, I'm emailing people at six thirty in the morning. Yeah, and then you know some other. Um signs that you're at risk for SIBO actually they they say the elderly may be the most vulnerable to developing developing it because it it actually rises with age but there's other multiple factors that can increase your chances no matter how old you are uh, you know she gave me the look when she said elderly it's like i refuse to do that <laughs> you're not taking any of this stuff <laughs> uh, <laughs> medication and especially antibiotics increase your risk for SIBO yeah, and if you're eating regular chicken, you're getting antibiotics and arsenic. So don't think you're immune to this. And my favorite drug is caffeine in the morning. So gastric acid suppression. What is gastric acid? Su- oh, well, is that- num- number one, most people don't have enough acid. That's why we check your chloride, and it has to be a certain number. But most, if you're taking a proton pump inhibitor, or even an over-the-counter ant acid. You're really, really having uh, more malabsorption problems, and lack of B12 is common in people with good acid. And so lack of B12 means you lack of B6, so you can't let the neurotransmitters cross the blood-brain barrier, and half of us have that 5-MTHF genetic mutation. You don't have to worry about all this stuff. I read this stuff. I remember a little bit of it, and I can practice it real well. You're hiring me to take the stress off of you. Just throw it in ask God to bless it. And some other risk for SIBO is fibromyalgia. You know, lots of people have fibromyalgia. You know, I, I've had women look at me and say, do you believe in fibromyalgia? And I'd say, yes, ma'am. And they start crying. They say, well, you're the first doctor that would listen to me, much less say, yes, it's a real, you know, myriad of conditions. Uh, celiac disease. Crohn disease. And it, 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 it's not always just gluten, but if you eliminated gluten, a massive amount of this stuff would go away. Grain is for making cows fat. Okay, quit eating grain. I still like corn because it's the corn tortilla. We live, you know, we're huge to, uh, Hispanic uh, influence, so that's probably my downfall. But I did give up gluten and way, way, way better in my gut health. Uh, prior bowel surgery actually are high risk for SIBO. 
You know, I was going to talk about that because, you know, I've had people that come in, they have a gastric bypass because, well, Doc, I got absolutely no willpower. It's like, well, I know. But then you've got to understand what they bypassed is places that you absorb different things and you wonder why your health goes to hell. I mean, goes Heck. goes downhill because you're not absorbing certain nutrients, minerals, and vitamins. You don't have enough enzymes to start with. And we have one lady says, well, I'll give you three months. It's like, well, good God, it took nine months for God to make a baby and you've had a gastric bypass. I think I'll not participate in your care. She got mad and cried. Yeah, because they say it takes a minimum of three months to make changes with nutritional supplements. Beginning, Beginning. physiological changes, to, yes. To stop the, the speeding locomotive, to start to turn it around, and then once it gets turned around, it's a month for every year you've been sick. And that's just a good generality mm-hmm. there, so... Folks, don't tell me you'll give me three months and you've been doing this for 30 years. It's not my responsibility. That's between your body and God and doing the right thing. So I I don't take that kind of responsibility. Yeah, people that have had are diagnosed with type 1 and 2 diabetes are a higher risk for uh, SIBO. So Yeah, well, you know, that's an inflammatory metabolic syndrome and diabetes that's that's an inflammatory disease and that's why i said earlier i don't know if i said it or i just had that thought but eight out of ten deaths are from an inflammatory disease oh 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 oh! off the subject Hmm. i was taking a seminar the other day you know sat there for two weekends you know plastered to my ipad and the guy says well usually when you have periods of stress it uses up all your minerals because you don't have enough anyway and you don't absorb what you're taking and he says you lose all your minerals you eat up all your b vitamins like janet and her stress and your hair starts turning gray or white because it's replaced with zinc which we don't have enough of and replaced with calcium and he said there's two minerals one of them's iron and the other one i'm not going to tell you because we're experimenting. Now, I'm 66, and I have the gray hair of a 40-year-old. Is that right, He Janet? has less gray hair than I do, and he's just a tad older than me. A tad is a decade. But anyway, <laughs> we're experimenting with this particular mineral to see if I can turn my hair back to what it used to be. And no, it's not very gray. But it's my because... Hair, my hair is back to what it used to be every four weeks, so I'm hoping that it works on me, too. I've never seen gray hair in Janet. But, I mean, I take a lot of this stuff, and I do think it makes a huge difference gray hair is not about you know being whatever it's really about it's an indicator of good health and how you've handled stress so if my hair starts turning a little bit darker because of this mineral we'll talk about it and we're always experimenting there's this new uh a bowel motility product that Janet and I are experimenting with and we usually use one two three four other people to experiment I don't think that's going to be a big hit, but <laughs> three, we're still trying. Well, let's tell that why why it's not going to be a big hit. Because Dr. Lewis, bless his heart, has a problem swallowing. It's a genetic problem. It's not that, well, part of it's that he... It's psychological. psychological. And some of it's uh, silent acid reflux, right. and we've got a cure for that. But I, I accidentally, I always hand him his probiotics at night because I want to make sure he takes all of them. And I'm I a got, well-kept man. <laughs> and I got this new motility product mixed in with it and i couldn't remember which one was what and so i handed him all of them and i walked out of the room i came back in a couple of minutes later he looked like he'd been eating persimmons his his face she's not even a country girl it's a green persimmon (laughs) oh it is (laughs) his whole face was just shriveled up and he goes what did you give me? And I said, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you that was in there. It's like some kind of... Tastes like the devil's brew. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like, it, even for a person that can swallow the capsule, it's rough because it, it's some kind of bitter, astringent herb in it. And it's like... And then you swallow it and it almost... It makes you nauseous. And I thought, I'm not going to be like people that call us and go, I took my first round of pills and I, I've got nauseated from it. And I'm thinking, I'm going to push through because this is good for me. 
I'm not so sure. I I don't know. That one's the rough. jury's out on this one. Yeah, so I, I'm on. I'm gonna give it a little longer. We're gonna see. But we do try this on ourselves. We don't just buy stuff and put it out there and hope it works. And and that's part of the changes. And the other part is through the COVID scare that people, the good companies, run out of good raw materials. So we've had to change. Thank you for being flexible with us because it makes a big difference. And one thing I'm really excited about on our next show, I think it's our next show. We're actually going to have a special guest on here. He's He's one of our people that help us put our ingredients together for uh, one of the product lines. He's better spoken than I am. And he's going to talk about (laughs) gut health as well because he is a a wealth of knowledge and he gives us a whole lot of information. And he doesn't give me opinion. He throws research right at me because he learned real real quickly. He comes up here... um, and sees us quite often. He he lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area, so it's like a, you know, almost three hour drive for him. And he comes up here and helps us all the time. So we invited him to be on this show. So he's super excited about it. So if y'all have any questions about gut health, about probiotics, anything like that, I think Dr. Lewis put it on the Shooting Straight uh, forum. On yeah, the and everybody's so depressed. They're not uh, saying much except you know you know there's a couple Rich and Troy. Well, and I didn't know <laughs> if they knew what SIBO really was on some some things you don't really associate it's that. a new drink ask me a question yeah, ask him about weight loss you know he'd tell you all about why you can't he was telling me the other day about um people that have trouble swallowing uh eating fiber because I, I told somebody because they were trying to pick the right diet that dr lewis was talking about the fodmap diet and i said you know for me i can eat pinto beans and i won't have to eat for three days because it, they just swell up and it's like i it it's, it's the most horrible feeling. You just feel full for three days. And he goes, well, I can tell you why that is. I mean, he's he is really good at it. So things like that, um, he's going to come here and answer. We're, we're really, really excited to have him. And he, he is better spoken than I am, too. So, yeah, we, we, we talk about all this inflammation, you know, and, and this is doesn't come from just my opinions. You know, there's, there's something that... Uh, uh, let's see, a, a, a Journal of Gastroenterology, and they did a study, and it talked about prolonged cow's milk challenge, and it increases a gut permeability, but that's counteracted by lactobacillus casei. And w- the good, the right probiotics are really, really good. We've got the SBI, the SBI spore, the spore, those spores, and we're going to go into much more detail, I think, when Casey gets here next time, but they basically don't come out and be activated until the condition's just perfect in the that particular portion of your intestines, and when it does, then they begin to communicate back and forth, and then on top of that, you have the uh, serum-derived bovine immunoglobulins, that's the SBI, which is absolutely wonderful not only to help seal leaky gut but to encompass or envelop the uh, pathogenic microorganisms it's really really good we've seen people that were going downhill toward a premature death reverse that yeah, and we'll, get better and better we'll let him talk about the spores because he can tell you that in a whole lot more detail about why they're so good i can tell you that particular product sbi spore has made a huge difference in my gut health and, and it it helps bowel movements people that have a tendency toward constipation which is one of the potential side effects uh, and i guarantee it helps janet it helps me it's helped several other people uh, you know, guys that come in and say, oh, my God, I'm pooping good. And it's like, well, the only thing you changed is that SBI spore. But it's not just about having more normal bowel movements to eliminate toxins. That's also about sealing leaky gut. And this question kind of ties into that. We're coming toward the end of the show, but I wanted to address allergies also because it is allergy season, and here in Texas it's super green and it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, we put some things on Facebook because it, it literally is that way. It's like you can't wash your car, and 30 minutes later it's back on there. Uh, but Troy wanted to know if we sold any supplements that help with allergies and I wanted Dr. Lewis to talk a little bit about our Histoplex. And we had Sarah that says she's on day four of the Histoplex and said she'd been on all kinds of allergy meds her whole life. And she was taking the two, three times a day for seven days because that's like a 
what is it, like a building? A loading dose. A loading dose. And then she went to two per day, and she said she could already tell the difference. But for people out there suffering from allergies, which is a gut issue, um, could you tell them a little bit about Histoplex, maybe? Well, the main thing in it is uh, quercetin or quercetin. And thank you, Sarah, for that. She's from beautiful downtown Atlanta, Texas. And Troy, I think, is from San Francisco, California, if I remember right. If I'm wrong, Troy. You know. I'll give him something for his memory next. So, just uh, I, <laughs> If you can remember to take your memory pills, do you really need them? But, uh, yeah, Histoplex is really, really good. That's the one thing that uh, Rob up in Michigan says, well, you've cured me for everything I thought was even old age, but you never cured me for the original issue. I said, what was it? I forgot. And the post-nasal drips, I sent him a bottle of the Histoplex, and he said, oh, my God, it fixed it. So, f- folks, if you throw it in, you ask God to bless it and do it consistently, um, you'll get better and better and better, and you can arrive at old age in a young body. Yeah, and for those of you that are new to our show and don't know what we're talking about, go to our website, greenwisdomhealth.com. There is a health survey on there. It will, once you fill it out, suggest a lab panel for you, and that's what we do. We take the guesswork of what you need for nutrition out. So, um We'll send you to a lab local to you across the United States. It is very low cost. It includes Dr. Lewis's consultation, and the wit he has is free. So uh, <laughs> we hope you get started today. We appreciate you sharing our show with others because it really does help them have a life worth living. And, Dr. Lewis, would you leave us with some closing words? Yeah, we're always talking about putting in good nutrients, and, and there is a difference. You have to have good ones, be consistent. And especially in the last year or two, you have to understand a lot of things are being thrown at us. You know, they're not necessarily true. So don't poison yourself. Don't poison your spirit. Don't poison your attitude with negative news and negative people. You can be blessed and highly favored. You guys have a blessed week. We'll be here next time on the Green Wisdom Health Show.